Well, as uh, we are at one of the Kansas Water Vision meetings for the 50-year water plan for Kansas, and we're joined now by Don Paxson, who is a farmer from the Pinocchi, Kansas area. Don, a longtime member of the Kansas Water Authority. And uh, Don, as we, as we look at water, you've been involved for a long time. Uh, give us kind of your thoughts on uh, this vision plan. Well, the vision plan should have happened a long time ago. And, of course, we've done a lot of studies and we've done a lot of issues that, that deal with what we're talking about now. But out of all those studies, and I said on several of the committees, the best we could ever do was conserve and extend. We just never could set any benchmarks to, to know how are we going to conserve and extend or, and are we doing any good with it. Well, as you look, uh, being involved in agriculture, uh, we continue to see improvements as far as technology for some of those water-hungry crops. Is it a time to maybe look at planting certain crops in certain areas to help in that conservation effort? Absolutely. I also believe that it's a time for, in my operation, I don't fully irrigate, but I'd plant a dry land rate. My wells are not great big. So I subsidize dry land with water so that I have a decent crop whenever the fall time comes. Well, as, uh, as we look, uh, we're stocking at this meeting. Uh, they started down in Liberal, working their way across the state. Uh, and you being on the, uh, uh, the Kansas Water Authority, uh, talk about some of those meetings and trying to uh, either, what, give a little piece maybe to everybody when it comes to water, or, or, or how is that deliberative process handled? Well, it's interesting because when we did those meetings, a lot of them were held out in the Ogallala because we were concerned about what was going to happen to the Ogallala. And in those meetings, we had K-State involved with the economics department. We had bankers involved that told us what the economy would do to their business and what would it happen to the farm folks, you know, if, if uh, they couldn't irrigate. Uh, the effects were devastating. The interesting part about that was is that the older gentlemen were interested in a buyout of their water horizon, but the young folks were not. They said it's our livelihood in years to come. We can't afford to not be able to irrigate fully and produce as much as we can. One of the first LEPAs, uh, the kind of local uh, generated uh, Compli or conservation efforts are, are pretty close to you uh, in Sheridan County. Uh, what are some of your thoughts on those? Well, I think that those folks are are way ahead of the, of the whole action. You know, there's some progressive folks up in that area that understand that their wells are declining right now, that they need to conserve, and I think that was the whole issue. Uh, and that was a long, drawn-out process for those folks to get that done. Uh, it's unfortunate that GMD1 uh, didn't work for them, you know, they voted it down. But at some point in time, it will be interesting to see, after the five years in the Lima up in Sheridan County, whether or not that's really had an impact. So, and I think it will, but the whole rest of the western part of the state has got to do something because we can't mine the old Lala forever like we are. Do you think it's going to have to be legislative, or, or do you have hopeful that uh, uh, hope that that some of these uh, measures can just be be handled without any legislative action and laws? Well, I sure would hope that it could, but my thoughts are that it won't happen unless the legislature does something. And I might be wrong, and I've been wrong a lot about things. But the issue is somehow we have to find a way to quit mining the Ogallala like we have been in the past. Any message to any surrounding states, uh, you know, Nebraska, uh, even Texas and, and Oklahoma, some of the areas that have the Ogallala, any, any message you have for them as a Kansas uh, farmer? Well, you know, they have to deal with their own state issues. Nebraska has, unfortunately, you know, mined water along the Platte and uh, out of the Ogallala, and, and we are not getting what we should be getting under the compact. So. Uh, yeah, nobody wants to go to the court to, to battle these issues, but unfortunately, it seems like that's the only way we get it done. And, you know, the issue is that we didn't want money from any of these states. We didn't want money from Colorado, but we wanted the water. But unfortunately, we got money, and I guess that's better than nothing. But, but what's happening up in the northwest part of the state, along with, with Colorado and Nebraska, hasn't been developing very well. Don, thanks a lot. I appreciate it.
Don, Don Paxton, a farmer from Pinocchi, Kansas, in Stockton at the uh, Kansas Water Vision 50-year plan meeting for agview.net. I'm Ken Rogers.